Jen, I hear there's this Republican Congressman Andy Ogles who has a bill to send pro-Palestine protesters to Gaza. What do you think of that? Medea, I think I think it's a great bill and I think that we should go to the congressman's office to let him know that we support him. Let's go. Uh, my name is Jennifer. I'm a nurse practitioner from New York and actually uh, I just got back from a humanitarian mission that was attempting to go to Gaza to, to deliver humanitarian aid since there's a, obviously a, a famine that's occurring there and uh, over 40,000 people have been massacred with, with American weapons. And um, I, we saw that uh, Representative Andy Ogles proposed that those convicted protesting on college campuses or protesting in general be forced to serve a minimum six-month community service sentence in Gaza, where uh, he says where Israel is currently waging a brutal campaign to eradicate Hamas. This is me on his website here. Uh, the title is Terrorist Support, Terrorist Sympathizers. I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, I've, I've given my life to public service. I'm also a sexual assault uh, forensic examiner, so I conduct forensic exams for uh, sexual assault victims in the state of New York. And what we want is we want uh, people to stop being slaughtered, but also, you know, I think this could be a great idea. We want to go and help, especially as a healthcare worker. We want to go and help the people that have been so brutalized, so victimized by America and American weapons and Israel, obviously. And we, Medea and I, were actually both uh, on the Gaza Freedom Flotilla, and we attempted to go. So, you know, this could be a great meeting point here. We want to go and help. So maybe we could, we could help the representative in getting this bill passed. There's so many Americans that want to go and help. Okay. Well, right now, it's Israel that keeps people from entering. All these doctors and nurses who want to go and help, Israel won't let them in, right? Yeah, so, so what is that? Like, he, he's saying that we, we will be forced to go and do community service over there, but then no policy-wise, we're being stopped from doing it. We weren't able to sail with the, with the des desperately needed humanitarian aid, food, medicine, baby formula, diapers. Like, this, is, this should not be controversial. These are human lives. He should work to push Israel to open the borders so that people who want to go and do community service and help to rebuild Gaza would be able to do that. Okay. I hope that the congressman connects, uh, you know, his his bill with the need for a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Or maybe he was just trying to be funny. Maybe he's just putting down the students. Maybe he's just putting them down. Mm -hmm. Students who are speaking up against genocide and kind of making it all a big joke. It's not a joke to us. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse. I take care of children. A lot of kids there have lost both of their legs. They didn't lose their legs. The Israeli army blew them off. With the U.S. weapons. And it's I not understand. funny to us. I and if your congressman's making a joke, can you please tell him that we don't think it's funny? I will. I'll certainly let him know. <laughs>